Hey there friends, so you have received an offer for a postdoc. Congratulations, you made it through the interview stage successfully and now you're in a position to decide. Presumably this was the position you were really interested in, which is why you applied for it in the first place. But is there still some stuff to think about? Well, if you're like most people, you have probably applied to multiple postdoc positions. So what if you actually have multiple offers? How do you decide? And even if you have only one offer in the table at the moment, how do you decide that you will accept it? Deciding on a postdoc is a, is a big commitment. It's a commitment for two to three years. It is a very decisive phase of your career where you consolidate the advances that you've made during your PhD. And so it's not a decision to take lightly. And I think you need to think about a bunch of things and this video is to help you with that. At the same time, as you think about accepting this offer, you don't want to take too long about it. Typically people want to move really fast, making the appointment because they have a project to deliver on. And also you don't want to be seen as hesitant. So it's important that you make a decision fast. So here are some points to help you during this time when you have to make that decision. The most important thing is that you are transparent and honest with everybody involved. So for example, if you have multiple offers and you need some time to decide, you should just say so. You should immediately respond to the email, so don't play for time like that, but you should indicate that maybe you need another week or so to arrive at a well-informed decision on this point because you have maybe multiple offers on the table or multiple opportunities. Of course, you don't say what they are, whatever, just inform people that you're considering other options. And even if you don't have other options on the table, you can still always ask for like a week to consider the offer without giving any further detail. The second point is gather information. I mean, the interview is probably one of the best opportunities to get sort of a feel for the place. And you have probably already asked some questions to find out about how this place runs. And then after the interview is over and maybe you had a good feeling about it, you should keep on working on gathering as much information about the place as you can. Talking to um, other researchers, for example, maybe even very carefully contacting some people in that lab to ask about the PI and things like that. But the very important point is to gather just as much information as you can. And it can really flip <laughs> your, your decision. I mean, this has definitely been known to happen. This may also be the place to ask for additional information. So you could ask, for example, for a follow-up call or a video conference or um, if it's on, if you're in the city where this is, um, maybe an, another on-site visit to just gather in additional information so you make a good decision. And even if you're not entertaining multiple offers, it is still important to get as much information as you can because you don't want to get blindly into some situation that you would later on regret for many reasons. The third point is decide what is really important for you. And as we're humans, we, we often maybe don't think about this as clearly as when we have to actually make a decision on this. Like for example, are you more into going to greater depth in the particular method or topic that you've worked on during your PhD or a previous postdoc, or are you now ready to apply what you have learned more broadly? This is something that you need to think about when you actually make that decision. Is the location attractive? Will this work with your family? And many other points. One point that may be very important to you um, is, is this position going to afford you the freedom you like? Because positions definitely come with more or less freedom, depending on, for example, the attitude of the PI. And so this would be something important to find out. And you could during asking questions. Now, but one point I want to emphasize separately from all this is, I mean, there is the location, there's the project, the freedom, the prestige of the university or research institution. There's many points to consider in this list. But one thing that you should not skip is that PI. Do you have a good gut feeling about that PI? Do you think you will be compatible with that PI? <clears throat> Because maybe that PI is perfectly fine, but it just wouldn't work with your personality. And, and typically you get a, sort of a, a feel for that during the interview or other interactions if, yeah, if this is maybe not going to work well. So by all means, if you have that gut feeling, act on it. Because nothing is worse than a PI that you're not compatible with. Um, because in the end, then nothing else really matters. And more specifically, if you have just one offer on the table at a time, but you have a really bad feeling about that PI, my advice would be not do it. 
because wait for another opportunity, you might regret it otherwise. If you can at all afford it, you know, from your career perspective and financially, for example. So I think that's all I had to say about that. It's an exciting time <laughs> also because you're definitely, you know, deciding on the trajectory you're going to go and a postdoc can be a fantastic experience that opens many doors and provides many learning experiences. But make sure you pick the right one for you. And that is not as easy as it sounds. So good luck with that decision and I hope you have a fantastic postdoc. See you in the next video. Bye.